The world would have to be the most exciting classroom anyone could ever walk into. Discovering the world around us can open our minds and broaden our horizons to see way beyond the boundaries and creature comforts of our lives back at home. Travelling can be challenging, but it can teach you so much about yourself and of course how others live. Best of all, travelling is an adventure. If you're curious about the world around you and want to test your limits by stepping out into the unknown, then start packing. Many young people believe that travelling is something that has to wait until they finish school. But that isn't true. With World Youth Adventures, an innovative adventure travel company that specialises in tailoring school group expeditions, as well as youth adventure travel to the world's most amazing destinations, your life-changing journey can start now. For this group of students, their adventure was about to start right here, in the fascinating, exciting and incredible country of Nepal. They're here to test themselves with a trek through the spectacular mountains to a remote village where they'll undertake a community project. There really is no better way to immerse yourself in a new culture than to combine a trip with giving something back at the same time. And they could not have a better group to share their experience with. A small group of like-minded students and their inspirational team leader, Australian adventurer James Kostrichian. He was one of the two Aussies who in 2007 were the first ever to paddle a kayak from Australia to New Zealand and will be taking these guys and girls on their trip through Nepal. So let's just say they were in excellent hands. It's been a real privilege to be able to take these kids out and to share some of my knowledge and some of my experience in travelling around the world and doing expeditions around the world. They've really been enthusiastic to, to hear more about my, the stories and the experiences I've had and we've tried to impart those lessons on, on the travel that we're having here. He was able to explain to us like it was okay if we were tired and you know everyone's been there like he's been there but the best part is to keep going and the end result. <laughs> Now arriving in any new city can be a daunting situation for anyone, but for a first time traveller it can also be one of the most exhilarating moments in your life. It's that first taste of the unknown that leaves you wanting to discover even more. First time out of the country really, it's just an amazing experience and it feels so independent that we're roaming the streets of Kathmandu. The time spent in Nepal's capital, Kathmandu, was a great way for the group to get an initial feel for the country, learn their bearings around town and of course test out their bargaining skills. We are into negotiations hardcore, it is so much fun. said 500 and said yes. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Uh, Remy's about to buy some presents. Here we go. Oh, only 100 cheaper, but it was only 300 to start with. It's not good, Dex. It's, it's all stitched on. Really busy and exciting. It's a bit of a culture shock. The girls are going to get us to the monkey temple. Navigating around these kind of places can be really confusing and overwhelming. When you get a reference point, keep, it, keep, keep them in the back of your head when you're trying to navigate. Navigating in Kathmandu was definitely a group effort. But with a bit of help from James, they made it. And this place, well, it's not called Monkey Temple for nothing. It was then time to depart for the real adventure. A fantastic trek through the world famous foothills of the awe-inspiring Annapurna mountain range. All right, we're here. After a quick briefing from James on equipment and safety techniques, it was time to hit the trails. Not only did the group have James for a touch of inspiration along the way, but are also joined by veteran Himalayan trekking guide Rinzin. Apart from making everyone laugh, he's here to ensure the group stays safe and healthy, help provide genuine cultural interaction with local communities, and teach the group firsthand about Nepal's unique environment, traditions, and culture. Rinzin explains everything, and I don't think it would have been able to do this by myself. And it didn't take long for the group to realise why the Himalaya is world renowned for its trekking. The scenery literally takes your breath away and the locals couldn't be any more friendly. The people in Nepal, they're just so friendly and happy and always there to help. The tracks themselves are well defined and safe. With a little pre-trip training, trekking in Nepal is easily within everyone's physical boundaries. World Youth Adventures draw on their decades of experience to carefully select the right trail for every group they assist. For this group, staying below 3,000 metres not only meant that altitude would never be a problem, it also provided the best views of the spectacular Annapurna mountain range. Alright guys, off the road! It's brush hour! <laughs> 
However, the trails aren't always a walk in the park. There are definitely some challenging sections. Girls, we're going down, 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 and guess what? What goes down must come up. <laughs> Which is why the group breathed a big sigh of relief when they found out that not only did they not have to carry their bags, thanks to the team of well looked after local porters. Yeah, they're troopers, they are. Look at them. Carry everything on their neck. But each afternoon when they arrived at camp, their tents were already set up, the tea was boiled, and their delicious meals, which ranged from tasty local dishes to pizza, were already being prepared by their very own highly trained cook which meant there was plenty of time to check out the local area at their own pace. Well, we just finished hiking for today and we got here in this amazing place. Really good to be with all the locals and, yeah, it's a great experience. Can't wait till tomorrow, so it should be good. While last night's game of cricket with the locals put a smile on everyone's face, the scenes they woke to the next morning were simply phenomenal. like just waking up this morning in the sun on the mountains and the snow peaks. A warm cuppa delivered to each tent and a hearty breakfast at the world's best brekkie table was enough inspiration to get the group back on the trail and off to their next destination. This camp, like all of them, nothing was left behind. The World Youth Adventures crew help advise the group how to do their best to reduce their impact on the fragile environment. Make sure we don't leave anything behind and all you leave is just a footprint. If you've left any rubbish, pick it up, put it in the bin and then time to hit the trail. And it's uh, incredible to see how the girls and uh, Jack are adapting to actually being out here. You know, the first day they were, they were a bit unsure, they were a little bit less confident in themselves and now they're really bubbling, they're singing along today. It's uh, just phenomenal to see what the change has been over the last day. Today's trek proves why travelling with an experienced company can help make your trip extra special. The group were going to undertake a trek deep into the remote hills, usually only visited by local villagers. This is true exploration. For the next few days, the group will be living in Bichuk village, home of the Gurung people, to help with a community project which was created by World Youth Adventures after consultation with the villagers. While culturally very rich, the local Gurung people are materialistically very poor. Knowing that the group were here to help them with an important project that they identified, it was obvious that they were pretty happy to see them. Jack. Jack. Yeah. I'm just having a chat with um, some of the kids here, trying to get their names right. Jack. 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 Bamboo. While living in Bichuk, the group experienced firsthand a life so different to their own back at home. Whether it's learning some of the rustic farming techniques, checking out the chief's house, or getting some hot tips from the villagers about the local board game, it's a memorable experience and definitely a time of reflection. Yeah, it's a great trip. Like, you see all the people and they're just so friendly. It's great to see a different culture and you learn so much. However, the real reason why the group have come here to Bichuk is to give back to the country that they were beginning to love so much. Today our main work is we're going to put the fence here. As well as building a fence to create a safer playing area for the children, the group will also be clearing some land for a new classroom to make way for a better learning environment here in Bichuk village. Have everyone has got gloves? Make sure you try not to push too hard, okay, and whenever you want to take a break, take a break. The lessons that they're learning out here are just lessons that they can't learn in the classroom. It feels really good. It gives you a sense of achievement, I guess, when you leave. Um, yeah, this is much better than sightseeing, I reckon, anyway. It's just something a bit different to what goes on at home. And none of my friends will be doing this in the holidays. As more and more people are discovering, a rewarding part of any travel experience is being able to give back to the country you're travelling through. It helps to form real bonds between travellers and the local people, as well as create vivid memories that will be with the group forever. This experience is really good to share my friends because we've sort of grown all together. You can see how much it makes a difference. Cool. I think it's pretty fun actually 
digging holes and breaking rocks and you get to help the local people, that's a pretty good feeling. You've been working over here in the dirt and that, but you look up there and it's snow-capped mountains, it's a pretty amazing sort of thing. Yeah. You know, they've been journeying through this amazing countryside and they've realised that we, geez, we've got so much back home and then to be able to give something back, it's really making them feel quite privileged. They need the work done, as you can see around here, so it, it's just a pretty good feeling that we've accomplished that and done a pretty good job. It's an emotional time for everyone when the community work is done, knowing that they'd made a real difference to the lives of the people that had welcomed them so warmly. Very strong. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Namaste. See you later. Thank you for your help. For a totally different experience altogether, we travel out of the hills and down to the plains to Chitwan National Park to get up close and personal with Nepal's wild side. Trading four wheels for four legs and a trunk, the group jump on board elephants for an even better way to spot Chitwan's amazing wildlife. And it turns out it really was the best way. Just around the corner we stumble across one of the prized sightings in the park, a fully grown rhinoceros. Highlight, however, was cooling off with their ride at the end of the day, taking a bath with, or more like a shower from, a huge Asian elephant. That was amazing. <laughs> it's nothing like what you would imagine. It's different. <laughs> It was nearly time for the group to head back home and there's no doubt that attitudes and lives have been changed forever on this incredible adventure. World Youth Adventures trips truly live up to their philosophy of helping you to travel the world, give something back and to grow as a person. Talk to them about tailoring a private expedition for your school or to join a youth adventure today. Very re rewarding experience, I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, it's just amazing what you'll learn, you can't really explain it. It was like going to a whole different world. You're able to see a different culture and it's really good when you're younger because you're still thinking about things and sorting out what you want to do. It was nothing I'd expected and I think you grow a lot more as a person if you travel. Go on, get out there and explore your world. <laughs>